Imagine a world where one number unlocks the mysteries of circles, cycles, and spirals. That number is pi, a seemingly ordinary number that starts with 3.14159, but stretches infinitely without repeating. In history, mathematicians worked hard to approximate a more accurate value of that number, each contributing to its fascinating story. One of the earliest recorded attempts came from ancient Babylonians and Egyptians, who approximated pi to around 3.125 using basic geometric shapes. However, it was the legendary Greek mathematician Archimedes who made significant strides in calculating pi more accurately. Around 250 BCE, Archimedes employed a method of exhaustion, inscribing and circumscribing polygons around a circle to find lower and upper bounds for pi. Through this method, he deduced that pi was between 3 and 1 7th and 3 10 71sts, which corresponds to approximately 3.141 and 3.1408, respectively. This was a remarkable achievement, considering the mathematical tools available at the time. Fast forward to 5th century China, where mathematician Zhu Chengji made groundbreaking progress by calculating pi to seven decimal places using a 24,576-sided polygon. His method, known as the cyclic method, laid the foundation for future advancements in pi's calculation. Continuing the quest for a more precise value of pi, in the 17th century, the celebrated mathematician Isaac Newton used calculus to derive formulas that allowed for more accurate approximations of pi. His work laid the groundwork for further developments in the field. Another notable figure in the history of pi is the Swiss mathematician Leonard Euler. In the 18th century, Euler introduced the use of infinite series to calculate pi, providing a new avenue for exploring its decimal expansion. His contributions revolutionized the study of pi and paved the way for modern computational methods. In the 19th century, the Indian mathematician Srimavasa Ramanujan made significant contributions to the study of pi. Ramanujan developed ingenious formulas and series expansions that advanced our understanding of pi and enabled the computation of its digits to unprecedented precision the following series converges and the sum equals 1 divided by pi, if we only use the term n equals 0, we obtain the following approximation. Now, what if we want to approximate pi in a fun way, like by dropping some sticks or needles on parallel lines, suppose we have a floor made of parallel strips of wood, each the same width, and we drop a needle onto the floor. What is the probability that the needle will lie across a line between two strips? This method is called the Buffon's needle problem. Buffon's needle was the earliest problem in geometric probability to be solved. It can be solved using integral geometry, the solution for the SOT probability P, in the case where the needle length L is not greater than the width T of the strips is P equals 2L divided by pi T, this can be used to design a Monte Carlo method for approximating the number pi, although that was not the original motivation for the Buffon's question. So we can approximate pi using the following formula, number of needles that hit lines divided by total number of needles is almost equal to 2L divided by pi t, if L equals t divided by 2, then pi is almost equal to total number of needles divided by number of needles that hit lines. Now, let's try to implement a simulation using C++ and SFML.